Why were you bullied? I was on the varsity soccer team, but I was probably the worst one there. They squashed my confidence and personality. The next year I improved greatly, a lot of the worst offenders had graduated, and I felt more comfortable. When we had a reunion with the graduated players, my teammates told them how funny I was, and the other girls acted like they couldn't believe it. You truly crush people when you bully. Plus you miss out on what makes them special. Everyone around you is going to be both better and worse at things in you, and it's ridiculous to bully them for any one of those things. Because my family moved to a different state and put me into a different school when I was in the middle of 6th grade, when everyone was going through puberty and the other guys decided to beat me up to show off. After a year of abuse in public school my parents put me into a private hall boys catholic prep school instead. The bullying got worse. It didn't help that I was a gifted student and knew no way of standing up for myself other than through my grades. I often think about how that one move damaged me in ways that I haven't recovered from even 4 decades later. I was bullied because I skipped a grade so was one of the smaller kids in the class. The bully in gym class then thought it was funny he could pick me up and body slam me and during the swimming part of Jim thought it was funny he could hold me underwater until I nearly passed out. I remember at our 25th class reunion he greeted me like we were always the best of friends. He was morbidly obese and I don't think lived much longer. Looking back he was probably abused as a kid which would explain his bullying and eating disorder, but still I wouldn't be sad if he's passed. Not exactly bullying well it probably is but not extended bullying, and not without reason because I was kind of a bitch I guess, but during a summer tennis camp. I was with this dude I hated from last year. He called me an overweight beaver who has hairy legs and wants to marry insert crush's name, can't come out to her parents, has trouble controlling her anger issues and takes a shower once a week. Half of that hasn't true, and the other half just hit me where it hurts, bodily insecurities and parent issues. Also I think he called me out on my mommy issues once. Started high school at 4 feet 11 inches. Bald sports hazing and with braces while taking algebra 2 with the juniors and civics with the sophomores. Tried to stay quiet, but I was the top of the class, so people found out. Now, I'm 5 feet 10 inches, in fantastic shape, and working at a big 4 accounting firm after excelling in college. And what are those kids up to? Nothing of importance. So if you're currently being bullied, don't let the bullies win. Keep pushing and come out better on the other side. Now. I almost feel sorry for those kids. I have fine hair but a lot of it and had a tender head so I hated brushing it when I was younger and it was very long. Eventually, it created a huge knot at the back of my head that I didn't brush out till like halfway through middle school. So they laughed at me about that and I think my clothes, since I wore baggier clothing to hide my body self-conscious BC I felt I was bigger, and I was but also just more curvy and I tried to fit in for a while but never really understood how to. It was rough. Haha, ha. not even sure anymore but it sucked. One year it was because I wouldn't help kids cheat so they stole all of my books and I almost had to pay those fees at the end of the year but they were found. The worst was in gym class. The sports rotated and a few people would relentless bully everyone who wasn't great at playing football both physically and verbally. Tables turned when hockey was what we played and some of the balls and pucks went to high macron so macron didn't have a problem after that. Easy target poor, bad hygiene, skinny and a pushover. It made me extremely funny and fast with responses, but also I didn't fight when I should have and didn't respect myself. Still haven't overcame it completely. Also, the people I was fake friends with get the exact energy they deserve when I see them. No love, cold response. I wish I could fight good. Then I would just punch on everybody. It wouldn't fix things, but I would feel better. Anywho. Starfield Sep 6 for not being of the right nationality and having an accent. I came to Australia when I was young and grew up here. Although other races may see me as just white and in other countries that's what it comes down to, here there is often bullying if you're of another culture that is white but not of Anglo-Saxon ancestry. Then later in life, men tried to treat me badly because they perceived women of my nationality to all be either submissive male or bride types. Because I had curly hair, wore hand-me-down clothes, had cheese and crackers for lunch, used lip chop, my mom didn't pick me up from school, the wind was blowing from the east, the price of wheat in Bolivia went up, whatever the flavor of the week was. So, really it was because I went to school with a bunch of self-righteous, spoiled, little assholes that needed to put down someone else in order to feel better about themselves, same as anyone. I was bullied for the first 15 years of my life by my older brother because that was the sort of person he was. 
I was also bullied briefly in high school by a guy named Sam. He was a bit of a narcissist and I was a bit of a nerd, and I sat in front of him in homeroom. So he liked to poke me in the back with pencils. One time I told him to stop and the teacher told me to be quiet. I would still like to punch his lights out. Looking back on my life now, it was because I was a law-abiding Christian. I was denied friendships, career opportunities, promotions, and invitation to events because I have never done drugs, never drank while underage, obeyed the speed limit, worked hard at any job I worked or was assigned, was honest on paperwork especially with anything involving legal proceedings, and openly spoke of my faith in Christ. Wasn't so much bullied, but I was talked about behind my back. I was awkward and didn't have a lot of common interests with my peers, and teens are mean so I was an easy target. I had friends so I didn't let it bother me too much. Things got better as I got older. I've learned to turn my awkwardness to my advantage. People respect you if you don't take yourself too seriously and can laugh at yourself. I was born with metatarsis varus and I had to wear full leg braces to correct it starting when I was about 8. Could not hide those things plus they forced me to walk different which was noticed. I was also a tomboy who liked the Commodore 64 and snakes and didn't like dolls or dresses. Nothing unique by today's standards but in the 80s I was an outlier. Especially growing up in a then small city. Didn't fit in. I was quiet, shy, everything. I'm also in the autism spectrum but I didn't get diagnosed until like the end of high school and bullying was an issue way before that. It was insufferable. Even teachers had bullied me and my life took a change for the worse. Sometimes I wish I was normal like everybody else and actually have friends to talk to. It's hard being different. The spirit piloting this meat vessel is awake. The sleeping do not like that. Even when either party don't have a clue what either camp, or word description, actually mean. Spoiler it has nothing at all to do with politics. This may read as facetious but I solemnly swear it is completely sincere. Which, ironically, reads even more facetiously. Such is the nature of the world because people are bastard-coded bastards with a bastard filling. Every decision, ever made, by any human, ever, at any time, has been, entirely, self-motivated. Bullying is what it really is, abuse and assault, is in no way the fault of the victim. Anyone who was bullied was bullied because of a decision the bully made, independent of their victim's actions, mannerisms, etc. I was fat, a wuss, a doormat, taught to let people run over me. Taught to never stand up for myself, a people pleaser, poor, lived in a blended family all four of us had the same dad the first two came from their mom younger sibling and I from my mom, ASD, school consolidation forced me to change schools four times between kindergarten and fifth grade, because I had a birth defect that made me emotionally delayed. To other kids, it was funny to make fun of my speech impediments and my naive nature. I was constantly tested because the other kids knew I went to special ed classes and speech therapy, and it was tiring to feel the constant need to prove my intelligence, sometimes even to my family. I was bullied in middle school by this girl that was very masculine and now she is the biggest lesbian ever guess she just liked me. So I was bullied because she liked me. And later on she confessed it to a close friend and she had told me. I got feet up one day and punched her in the stomach and got detention but she stopped bullying me because my mom abandoned me. Because my dad was Latino, mom was white, and I was light-skinned. Because I was poor. Because I was nerdy geeky. Because I liked older music. Because I had to move back home and care for my dad so didn't get to go to college like the rest of my classmates. Because of my weight gain. Because I said enough. I was awkward. I was the oldest in a family of five girls. My dad split when I was seven. We were poor and my mom was alcoholic so we didn't have a lot of clothes. I was sometimes bullied for wearing the same clothes. I guess my sisters and I looked too shabby and dirty. I don't know. Being bullied as a kid really messed with my self-confidence. I have red hair, my parents were divorced, and my aunt and uncle raised me. Nowadays, this is more the norm, but back in the 70s, I was the odd one out. I was also timid until people got to know me. Other students stopped billing me in middle school once I tagged out the biggest jock in a game of mushball. That changed my life. My bully was from church. I got to hear about my fat thighs, big forehead, lisp, wide feet, and how slow I was at sports and how annoying I was I was annoying, only child, undiagnosed depression had in constant validation seeking, along with being raised in a very black-white approach to life by very socially awkward parents. They called me wolf girl and barked at me because I wore wolf shirts now I don't wear them anymore. 
They also didn't like how I didn't take their crap. And I asked if something was an 18-wheeler engine and they made fun of me for weeks. This was all in 8th grade alone lol. In elementary school I got bullied for having a stutter. I was bullied by a popular girl because I didn't value popularity, and I was confident in the things that made me unique. It hurt at the time but it didn't change me and I hope I pass the same confidence onto my daughters. It has served me well. Long story short, she has had a difficult life and I've been very successful. I was just a quiet geeky kid who liked all kinds of music, computers, cars, and country shit. I did drumline too. I just didn't fit into the social norms of a religious small Texas town. So they called me Columbine and bullied me. Jokes on them, though. I was dating a hot goth girl a lot of the jocks liked. Too many reasons, pins of face. Being a scrawny, nerdy, dweeb kid who was into art and music, and theater. Didn't play sports, snuck into the women's bathroom all the time to creep, always turned in my homework on time and raised my hand every time the teacher asked the class something. Just wanted to be me, you know? Norway. Korean adoptee, small, didn't fight back, top of my class academically. Still struggle with the identity issues the often racist bullying created within me. Would probably have been bullied even if I was ethnically white, so it's more that the bullying was often expressed in a racist manner. I'm 116 Mexican. One kid in my school decided to make remarks along the lines of oh look at the border jumper he was the only one doing this thank goodness but that's the nicest example of this. I'd have just remembered this one but because I exist? I was often told to kill myself by that person.